I personally love the mega jobs. I think they're a lot of fun. And I like being a part of a, a build that is bigger than myself and will outlast me and make a mark on a landscape or an industry. We do a lot of what I call the big sexy jobs. Those are the, the stacked towers, the Transby Transit Center, and a lot of those noteworthy projects. I'm second generation construction. My dad was in it, and for me, it just felt right. I was about 16 when I first started drafting home plans for people and doing structural steel shop drawings and working my way through college. In college, I eventually became a project engineer on a job, replacing other project engineers that had been there previously and just kind of took over for them. The Transbay Transit Center project is about a million square feet. A uh, hundred square feet of that is leasable tenant space. The entire floor of that is for commuter buses to come in and drop off. There will also be five and a half acre park, city park, that'll be accessible to everyone. And it has an amphitheater, a restaurant, a playground, like 800 trees, and a gray water marsh that will process the, the gray water from the building and, and filter it through in order to reuse it for landscaping. Bay Area Council. They're very big here in the in the Bay Area and they have a gender equity group and I love going to their workshops and it was at one of these that I met Jessica. We both hit it off because we're in the operations field and we were the only two women in the room that were in that field. We happened to choose the same lightning talk to go sit at and kind of had that instant connection. Through that friendship we discovered not only did we work across the street from each other but that our projects are actually interrelated. The substation upgrades that I'm in charge of will provide the power to the electrified Caltrain will run from San Jose to San Francisco and ultimately will end in the Transbay Terminal where Amanda was in charge of the construction. Which will allow the high-speed train to actually make it to my station. So without her project, basically, I have a really fancy bus stop. She's also headed up uh, their women's network at PG&E and I head up the women's network at WebCore. And so we've exchanged a lot of ideas and how to get our groups to work together or just things that have worked and lessons learned. And so it's been a really a good partnership for us. Women can play a leadership role in this field. Why, why did they need all that? So I tell him that his schedule is behind, his work is crappy, and I put an execute LD, he starts dropping F-bombs. Right? And I say, if you're going to keep talking like that, this meeting is over, we can reschedule it with your boss. So these are some of the challenges that you know, we face over and over again. It's a reality, okay? But I think it is getting better. It's been great to bond with other women in this field. Uh, we lack diversity, so we have to, to support each other and change the culture a little bit so that more women see this as a great field that they can succeed in. What drew me into it was the fact that I could use more of my mind than using my body to get the work done. You know, I think it's really important for women to network with each other, especially in construction. The percentage of women to men in construction is very small. If you don't know where each other are, it's hard to feel like you're part of something. You feel very alone. It's really fun to play a leadership role in an important project, such as the Caltrain electrification project. This is important for the transportation of the entire peninsula. To have that person is to increase our pipeline of women coming into construction, women returning to construction from family leave, and creating that network of women that can rely on each other. Women, right, show of hands, are the main source of income in your household. Show of hands. All right. People are very charmed with the idea of the reverse role, that there's a, a dad at home instead of a mom because you really won't have gender equity in the office until you have gender equity at home. Whatever you do, be the best that you can be and never say that I can't do it because you can. You can excel and do whatever you want. Just put your mind into it.